What's up everybody, in this video I am going to show you how you can record audio from your iPhone, presumably your iPad as well, but in particular the iPhone, because we don't have this audio jack anymore that made it easy, I'm going to show you how you can record the audio from your iPhone on your Mac. Now, why might you want to do this? Plenty of reasons. Uh, for me, in my case, you know, I do a lot of podcasts and, you know, you may want to capture uh, audio, right, from the phone, an interview, something like that, into my device and into my Mac where I can edit it and everything else. In this case, for the example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture audio from the Compile Swift podcast, one of my podcasts, in the Overcast app, but it will actually capture all the audio from the phone into the desktop on your Mac. Now, to do that requires a little bit of setup, but it's actually very straightforward. I did all the hard work figuring it out to make it very easy for you. What I'm going to do is there's a couple of requirements. One of them, you need to have your phone plugged in with a cable, right? That is crucial so that your system will see it. The other one is I'm going to open up the audio MIDI setup here, believe it or not. And you can see I've got a bunch of uh, audio here anyway, but look down here because I've got my phone plugged in, it says Peter's iPhone. I'm going to click enable. And when I do that, it now appears here. Now what that's done is it's told this Mac, okay, this is going to act as an audio input device, right? Now with that done, I'm going to close that out so that I can show you that this is working and how this works. I'm just going to open up an application here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you use for it. I'm using this one for a couple of reasons. One, this is the software that I use to record my podcasts and video, audio, everything else. But more importantly, it's going to show me the waveforms in real time that I want you to see as this takes place. Now, what I'm going to do here, you can see here that this is where I select the audio input. The iPhone now appears as an input. So I'm going to set it there. I'm going to set it to record. Once I start recording, what's going to happen is nothing. Basically, you'll, you'll see no audio. You'll see blank here, right, when it's recording. And then when I start playing the audio from the podcast app, you'll see it start to capture and appear here as a waveform. And then I'll play it back just to show you that it worked. So let's go ahead and start recording again. You're, at this point, this is acting as an input to your Mac. So however you want to capture audio, regardless of application, process is the same, right? So I'm going to start recording here. If you look at this red, you can see there's no audio there, right? There's nothing happening because it's not playing. But if I now go back here and I'm going to hit the play button on the iPhone, and you can see as soon as I do that, look, the audio starts coming in and is being captured, right, from that device right here. And just to prove it, what I'll do is I'll now hit the pause button to stop it, and you'll notice that the waveform drops to nothing, right? So I'm going to stop the recording here. Just put the phone down. Going to now go back and play this, and you will see that sure enough, we'll have silence. Then the audio that was coming through from the iPhone uh, appearing here in the software. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Compulsory Podcast. I'm your host, Peter Whittem. You can find this podcast. And there you go. You can, you can see that the audio is coming Let's through. Dive so into the that is basically how you set it up. And once you've done that, you know, when you plug your iPhone in, you're going to be good to go. So I hope this has helped you. It was a real pain to figure out, but got it working um, so that I can use this for a variety of different reasons. But this should hopefully get you to where you need to be recording the audio for whatever app on your your iPhone device, demonstration purposes or whatever, that's how you do it. If this has been helpful, please like, subscribe, follow. Uh, you can reach out to me, peterwidham.com, and let me know if this has been helpful, or you can leave a comment below. Greatly appreciate it. Hope this helps you out. Take care.